2 0 defeat here at Adams Park against Wickham Wanderers. What did you make of it today? I thought it was a tough one to take to be honest. I think yeah, there's nothing in the game really. I mean, they're obviously a big, strong team. They were smashing the ball over our back line. They were targeting our left back quite a bit. Uh, and you know, and that they got that's where they got the goals for in the end. It's a soft free kick, edge of the box. The players are playing for it because they know that we're weak in the set plays because we're not the biggest team in the league. So players are falling over. They get entry in the box. We lose the first contact, we lose the second contact because we're not big enough. The boys are trying, but it's definitely a weakness that we've got at the moment. And uh, you know, we can see for two set plays. Uh, other than that, well, of course, we scored the own goal. Uh, which you know, come for us because uh, one of our players kicks it over our bar, which then which then knows the pitchers in the back foot because we we've got to defend a set play, and we got a wee nudge at the front post on Charlie Savage, and he's, he's had it in his end net, unfortunately because he gets he's been nudged. So it's gone against us definitely. The set plays are killing us a wee bit. It's no secret that it's a young and, and small squad as well. Just was the physical challenge the biggest one today, and how do you go about sort of stopping that and competing a bit more? Well, I thought Robert did really well, to be honest. For instance, you know, obviously, if you've got a size, you've got to get off the grass, you've got to jump, you've got to compete, you've got to do the best you possibly can. I think in the main they did that, but of course, key moments, you know, you can, you can always going to lose your head if somebody's six foot five and you're you're five foot five. It's not easy, is it? So in the main, I think we we, we attacked the ball well. Uh, and for open play we're pretty good for crosses really to manage because the two centre backs are good positional play but it just seems to be when, it, when we get a dead ball situation we're in trouble of course teams know that they're targeting it they're looking for free kicks in the edge of the boxes and they know they're going to get an entry You go into half time at 1-1 and it could be a different game couldn't it? The disallowed goal any complaints about that at all? I couldn't see it but I think people just say to me hit his hand he uh, was getting pushed so I don't know I, to be where I could if he's hit his hand it's hit his hand but what I will say is one of the players scissor kick one of the players right in the face uh, dangerous play and uh, he never even got a put, which was absolutely incredible there you go Harvey Bunker taking on the captain's armband today uh, FGR Academy product just how good a moment is that for, for the club it's brilliant isn't it fantastic for the young man it shows you how much we rate him uh, and well done to the club for bringing him through and it's, uh, it's great for the club in a whole. Uh, it, he's, a, he's a trier, he's a good player, and uh, you know, hopefully he'll be here for many years to come. And we mentioned the young squad, how are they in there? How do, how do they cope with what's going on at the moment? I think they're a bit down today because I just think it wasn't not really today with football as such. You know what I mean? The fact of the matter is the guys are trying. They've come up with a big, strong team who you know were smashing the ball, you know, really doing a throw over our back line. And really, that's where the goals come from. They come from set plays, didn't they? So it's not as if Wickham played us off the park because they didn't, because we had the most possession. Um, never created that much chances, but we get a chance in the last uh, five minutes with Ollie, ten minutes with Ollie at the back post. It goes anywhere back there, it goes in the net. Um, so, you know, they're a wee bit dunty, Bonish, yeah, because they know how, uh, how hard they're trying and how much they want to get a result. Uh, and what can you say about uh, today on the, on the set play, really? And just finally, done a message to the fans, they still give you a, and the players a clap off at the end, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they do, and it's, uh, we, we, we appreciate it. Uh, we're desperate to win for them, there's no question about that. Uh, we know that we need to win games, we've got to win games for them because they spend a lot of money coming to watch us, and uh, we appreciate their, all their support. And we're just going to try and get a couple of results for them because we need one. We all need one, don't we? I need one. Everybody needs one because we all, we all, we all need to get a boost. Um, it was hard today because you could see the physical challenge. The physical challenge was against the players. To be fair, they stood up in the main, and I thought the second half as it went along and they made the substitution, we looked a bit stronger. We created a bit more chances. We got the pitch. They, our goal is they, doesn't make a save in the second half. Um, so yeah, I'm not even quite sure they made a save in the first half. Um, so. You really there was nothing in the game other than a couple of entries for set plays.